could be set to pay owners of prohibited weapons compensation if they hand them into the police in a bid to take dangerous weapons off the street, including knives and firearms. The Weapons Surrender and Compensation Scheme led by the Home Office and supported by the Metropolitan Police starts this week and will run for three months, ending 9th of March, offering people the chance to hand in the items, along with necessary paperwork, but I'll get to that in just a minute. At one of the 12 designated police stations across London, where the individual will be given a unique reference number to submit to the Home Office in order to receive compensation. The new Offensive Weapons Act 2019, which comes into effect from 2021, will make it an offence for people to own certain types of weapons and firearms. Although I'm pretty sure there's already something out there prohibiting the ownership or at least the carrying of such items in the streets. Metropolitan Police Detective Chief Superintendent Lee Hill, who is leading the weapons surrender in the Met, said, Our top priority remains tackling violent crime and we fully support this surrender which seeks to remove potentially dangerous and harmful knives and firearms. Every weapon surrendered could mean the prevention of a violent incident, injury or death. Alongside this surrender, officers will be carrying out a range of tactics including weapons, sweeps, patrols and intelligence-led stop and search to target those who are still intent on carrying knives and firearms on the streets of London. I would urge Londoners to do the right thing and surrender any weapons they might have. And remember, that this is all aimed at reducing violence, safeguarding communities and keeping our cities safe. Now it's important to note that in order to obtain some compensation for your prohibited items, you must give your personal details and provide ownership at the time of handing the weapon over to police. Yeah, I can really see someone with an Uzi or Rambo style blade wanting to hand over their personal details, can't you? And the fact that only 12 designated police stations in London are providing the scheme seems a bit dumb. I certainly wouldn't want to have to jump on a bus or walk through the streets with my AK under my jacket because my local station won't take it from me. In fact, I'd rather keep my AK under my bed as it's less hassle. I mean, who comes up with these bloody ridiculous conditions? It's being said that the surrendered weapons will be destroyed once the three months is up. But ask yourself this. Why are they not destroying the weapons weekly? Surely the earliest destruction of these items is the best thing. So why would the police want to hold on to them for more than three months? I bet they won't be destroying your personal details after three months. So who really in their right mind is going to actually hand in any weapons they own if they have to give their details or if they have to travel to one of the only 12 police stations to do so? Surely taking weapons off the street is a priority. Surely acting, actually acting on intelligence, responding quickly to alleged allegations of threats, for example, following up reports of violence, spending less time trying to intimidate members of the public who haven't actually done anything wrong but have hurt your feelings, and actually do some high visibility policing rather than wait, wanting to sit off in your car all day or get sucked off by your colleague in the disabled toilets are all far better ways of actively controlling violent offences on the streets. I would love to find out when this is over in March just how much money the Home Office has given out in compensation and how many people actually gave their personal details to the police because if you're the type of person who owns such a weapon, I seriously can't see them being soft enough to actually go and give any personal details. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.